All right, so thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at FedEx. FedEx shares are down about 10.84% uh, at the moment, and they continue to tumble. Some of these things uh, related to just the news things going on with uh, weaker demand hit revenue outlook. So when we look at what happened here, uh, you had earnings. I mean, with earnings, you had this conference call and the earnings, uh, they didn't hit it. And so people are selling the stock. So in other words, Hey, it, people, more sellers than buyers. That's the simple term. Does it really matter exactly what happened in the news? Not really. Um, what matters is more how is it behaving? What are the support levels? What are the outlooks for the future? And um, what are the positions that we can put on? So as we look into FedEx, um, you know, lo looking at the overall market, the market's been up for quite a while. Um, and right now, FedEx is down about 10, 11%. UPS also kind of pulling things down. You've got some others there that are also... Um, in a mixed bag but when you're looking at the market right now as, as overall the market is kind of flat we're uh, just up uh, basically 10 cents um, or SPX is just up two bucks so not anything uh, major but if we look at FedEx one of the things that's cool about this move and what I always like to watch is that how many days or weeks of gains did it take out so if we look at uh, where it is right now and we were way up here so a lot of times people get in and they they hold through earnings. And if you hold through earnings, look, we took out, we're back to the same price. We took out one and a half uh, months of gains almost. So when you look at it uh, over here, here's kind of the, the previous price. All those gains that were made, that is about one and a half months worth of gains. So that stock is down about almost 11% at the moment of this recording. So that's a lot. And this is where I always say don't hold things through earnings unless you have a predefined risk, like a vertical spread or something along those lines. So you don't want to hold a lot of these things through earnings because now this stock is pulling back in a big way. If we look at the weekly, though, um, you know, the, from a weekly perspective, we look at where support and resistance we got into those higher levels but you know some of the resistance was right around the 300 dollars price level but now this stock what's happening is we're coming back into this uh trend line right there so let me point out a few support levels here um on this chart we've got one major one here at 200 that is a critical support level you've got another one right around 210 coming back to this level We've got another one right about this level. So that is about the 240 level. So we've got a few of those zones. Yes, do you have one at 230? Yes. Yeah. So it may seem like you're almost going in 10 increments uh, in this case. But one thing that's also interesting about this stock is if you look at just the overall uh, trend line here of the support levels, this almost became a resistance after it broke here, it came back and it's rejecting those uh, levels. Now, the other thing that now you can start looking at and creating a possible trend line is something along those lines. We're gonna see if this holds at this level um, uh, on that trend. So watch these trends because still the moving average, if you look at the overall moving average, we're still kind of going along these lines and holding the support. So this pullback is kind of normal, but this is on a longer term chart. If we start going to a shorter duration chart, um, and you still get to see a lot of data with shorter duration charts, it can still go quite a bit uh, further to come back into this price level and still work its way through. Remember, stocks, here's kind of the moving average. Stocks get too high, then they pull back, and they get oversold, and they come back into the average kind of uh, price. So when they get too far up, they'll probably get pulled back, and when they go too far down, they'll probably whip back the other way. It's kind of like a rubber band effect uh, that happens. So when we start looking at FedEx um, and, and you're looking at some of those levels, that's that's what I would kind of watch and keep an eye on. You could say if you're looking at technical patterns to some level, you could have a head and a shoulder pattern. And then, um, you know, but in my book right now, I, I look at it. I don't look at it that complicated. Um, you know, I look at it more at a simple basis of what are the levels the price zones and levels that we're coming into because it's a lot easier to look at it that way so it's kind of 230 235 we're looking at this 2 245 level right here which is where we're at almost right there and we're going to see if it it holds so that's kind of what i would keep an eye on with this stock for the time being i see usually i would give it uh earnings three days to allow them to digest and after that three-day time period that's when you can really see what's going on what's happening with the stock because sometimes you get this um down move and then you get a snap up other times you get a down move and then you kind of get a follow-through 
on the way down. So anyways, that's all I've got on, on this one. There's, uh, you know, could you try to figure out what's going on with the news much more and this and that? Ah, sure, you could. Uh, but uh, how is the reaction? That, that's what we care about is how strong and violent is the reaction and where are some people going to pick up the, the shares or possibly that's much more important than um, looking at a, well, what are they saying in the uh, news report? Those, the news reports, the earnings calls, those are good for, you know, multiple years growth or investment. As for shorter term trading, anything less than a year, you probably want to stick more with the technicals. All right. So thanks for joining me. Check out the website, grab some freebies, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.